All right, Bobby Slick Leonard, boom baby, who was Indiana basketball. He passed away at the age of 88 years old uh, not too long ago. Heartland Film is streaming a documentary about Bobby's life and career. It is called The Heart of a Hoosier. Fans, let's hear it from Bobby Slick Leonard. And I had just never seen someone as beloved by an entire state. And I just, I was just wondering why. What, what would account for all that? Uh, I mean, there have been, you know, there have been bigger figures. Um, and there have been, you know, great players and great coaches as he was. But they didn't have that kind of uh, love from an entire community. And so, you know, that's why I decided to, to do the film. Um, and I was really, really privileged uh, that Bob and his family trusted me to do it. And, uh, you know, I hope that it will help, you know, I hope it will help further his legacy. You know, I'm from Indiana. Uh, I love Indiana people. And they've always loved me. He was some guy you're going to be missed uh, tremendously. You can go to the heartlandfilm.org to watch the documentary. Again, I tell you, here I am, Amber. Slick Leonard, boom, baby. Everybody knows who he is here. What a great guy. Yep. Brady, yep. Thank you so much. Well, they are impacting our community through sports and now taking the time to say thank you to everybody who makes it happen. Ryan Vaughn joins us right now, president of Indiana Sports Corps. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Well, it's a pleasure to be yeah, here. Thanks we're so for having happy me. to have you. Okay, let's talk about this thank you campaign, of course, following the big tournament. What do we need to know about this? Well, as you know, we spent the better part of the last month, three and a half weeks, you know, hosting 98 college basketball games, yeah. asking so much of the community, the venues, the hospitality industry. And so uh, we want to celebrate all that the work they've done and mm -hmm. um, thank them for their, for their time, for their energy and their efforts. So we've launched a campaign, uh, video and print, and we're going to have some events just to say thanks That's and uh, how much we appreciate all the work that went into making it a special, special it's month. It's got to make you guys so proud because I always hear such wonderful things with people coming these big events to the city of Indianapolis. Everyone says how well organized they are, how uh, such of a good time that they've had. W what do you hear on your end? Because this is just from my end. Yeah, you know, I communicate with event right holders from around the country and certainly my peers around the country. And, and without a question, what makes a difference mm -hmm. in Indianapolis are the people. Um, we filled nearly 5,000 volunteer shifts in less than 48 hours, which is incredible. Ooh, I mean, people really show up wow. and make it special here in town. And I would imagine, especially this year, people, they miss basketball, right? <laughs> they want to get back to a little bit of normalcy. Did you see that shift perhaps as well? People like anything I can do to be there for you guys to help you out. Yeah, certainly under you know COVID restrictions and conditions, a lot of the traditional volunteer roles weren't available. Yeah. And people were very flexible and just wanted to be part of it. They knew it was going to be a special moment in our community's history, and mm. they were willing to do anything. Yeah, and the fact that you guys are doing this to give back, to say thank you for helping us, is pretty amazing. But you're not stopping there. I understand you guys also have the Indy Ultimate. Yeah, the Indy Ultimate, I think, is going in its fifth year. It's a run-walk downtown designed to really kind of highlight all the special venues. Uh, it's a really unique opportunity for people to get in these places. You can kick a field goal at Lucas Oil Stadium, run the bases at uh, Victory Field, yeah. run the steps at the War Memorial. It's really designed to bring people da back downtown and, and uh, appreciate what makes it special. That's fantastic. Okay, what else do we need to know, of course, about who you guys are, what you do, and then essentially how other people can help if they want to get involved? Yeah, so we are the Indiana Sports Corp. You know, our job is to attract and build premier sporting events in our community for the purpose of, you know, promoting our economy and building a brand for our city. And uh, if people want to be a part of that, they can go to our yeah. website, indianasportscorp.org. They can become okay. a member to support us or they can volunteer for events in the future. There you go. L lots coming up. I'm L sure plenty of opportunity to be had. Uh, thank you so much. Appreciate your time. We'll put that link on our website, indiestyle.tv. And that's what I love about this. It's people helping people, community coming together. 